Well, hello Aries. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. Aries, this is going to be for the week of the 12th through the 19th, which is going to be a very interesting week. Um, we're going to see what, what's going to come out here for you. Of course, you guys already know that there is a lot of major transits happening this week and next week. Um, so I want to see how this is going to affect you. We're going to see what you may struggle with and what you may actually enjoy. So let's go ahead. Let's get into the reading. However, uh, this turn out for you, we're just going to pick up the cards. If they're in reverse, they're in reverse. If they're upright, you guys already know. This is for Aries. Let's get it. <clears throat> oh, I need to put some motion on my hands. <laughs> All right, Aries, you guys have the lovers in reverse. You have the three of cups in the upright. And you have the knight of swords in the upright. Let me make sure you guys can see that. I will say there are some frustrations, things that you have um, been dealing with, which is interesting. The lover's card is in reverse. I would definitely say that has been a struggle for you. Um, romantically, now, of course, this is not always, you know, with romance. This could also be with, you know, friends, right? Difficulties with family members. Um, but I see frustration in the areas of interpersonal relationships, meaning the people who are closest to you. Now, do I really feel like this is love? Yes. The difficulty of not having it in your life, the difficulty of it being in your life, and maybe someone has not been as cooperative. This is what it says on this card. That maybe you've been dealing with someone that has been um, making bad choices with how they treat you. Um, and I feel like someone may be suffering from regret, which is the reason why I see this three of cups here in the upright. So with your struggles, it's like, I need you to understand me. I need you to hear me. And it has not been that way. You've been suffering from disharmony. Okay. And I do feel like there could be some separation between you and someone because we definitely see somebody coming in here with the Knight of Swords. Outside of that, I feel like your struggle may have been in making decisions about starting a project, starting your business. It's like there's been procrastination you're going to, with support, you're going to start something and make the decision to do it. Now, with the Three of Cups, it talks about a support system. So you may have family that's here supporting you. You may have friends here to support you and being able to start something, maybe encourage you to continue or to move forward in a certain situation. I see a lot of joyful occasions, happiness. This is coming together with people this week. I don't know why I see that there could be maybe unexpected friends, somebody that you may run into, okay, this week. Um, you don't have a bad reading, really, at all, because I feel like if there's been a separation um, because of distance, be, you know, maybe you're dealing with someone who you know, works a job or they're on the road or they travel a lot. It's like that has been the struggle. Like I said before, whether it's because of bad choices or, you know, disagreements, I see coming together um, and a lot of harmony and a lot of support this week. Now, here with the Knight of Swords, this is not going to be something that's going to take too long. Like, let's say you've been waiting for someone to call you. You've been waiting for, you know, to come together with somebody on a project or an idea, or you've been waiting on a lover. I see that they're going to be coming in here rather soon. And they're going to 
be very assertive about getting you back, wanting to talk to you, wanting to see how you're doing, okay? If you're in a uh, connection right now, maybe in a long-term connection, I feel like the struggle has been the fact that there's been a lot of like mistrust. Like one minute you trust the person and the next minute you don't trust the person. And it, it does feel like there's been third parties. It does feel like there's been interference. And this is something you need to talk to your partner about. Let's keep going here for Aries. Aries, we're going to get another set of oracles. This reading is only 10 minutes. It's only given us a brief overview of this week. And of course, you know that this can stretch out a little bit further. This is for Aries. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you guys have major opportunities and celebrating the light. There's a lot of celebration. You keep getting that. I love that. I really do. You got Fox. Hmm. And then you have woman. There's someone that's a little deceptive. I mean, is it little? Well, it all depends. Someone isn't being honest. It could be a lover, but there could also be a coworker or someone who's around you who's pretending to be something that they're not. It says that this person is very cunning. Just be careful. But the woman here is considered to be a love interest, someone that you know. Hmm. Like I said before, there's been a lot of trust issues. And I hate to see that in your reading because it's coming out in both, both of these other oracles as well. And I've mentioned it before how someone has been making a lot of bad choices. Maybe taking the person back over and over again. It's interesting because here with the summer, it says that waiting to waiting for things to unfold. Maybe you're trying to figure out if a person is going to change. Maybe you're wondering if someone is going to change. Like you want to be with somebody, but it's been very frustrating. Or maybe you can't trust their motives or why they're around. But again, like I said before, I can totally tell that there's been trust issues here in general. Let's keep going. This is for Aries. Aries, this is going to be upright, okay? For Aries. Ten of Wands. There's a lot of guilt here. Someone is suffering from a guilty conscience. Is hitting that regrets card. And here where someone feels like they have sabotaged something or um, it's like they feel this weight of their decisions on their shoulder. And I do see someone taking action towards you. You could be dealing with someone who feels like they're always being blamed for something. Or maybe you feel like you're always being blamed. Aries. Thank you. You got a lot of wands here. Two of wands. You need to make a decision. That's interesting because we were talking about indecision. There's somebody from your past that's coming back and you're going to have to decide if you want to be with them or not. If you want to go down that road. Friend or lover. I do feel like there's a lot of resentment that may have built up because of that. But here, the right decision is going to be made. I can see that. You guys have the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. If you guys have been waiting for something dealing with court, I do see it's going to be in your favor because I see you're going to be receiving a judgment where something is going to be handed to you. Money. Let's talk about your money. A lot of you, have, a lot of you have had setbacks, so money has not been good at all, really. 
I do feel like you part of that support that we were talking about earlier is maybe family support, friend support, or just having some. This could be government as well with the justice card. Money has not been the best. Somebody may have stolen something from you, an idea or money, and this is the reason why there is a court energy here. Overall, this week for you is really about making the right decisions and staying balanced. I feel like you have taken a lot of hits with love, with money even, like I said before, but it's about you looking towards the future and um, making plans. It's like you have to be more so proactive at this time than lassy days ago. You're going to have to um, because, again, you can drown either in debt or even with your emotions. So you have to take action with removing things, settling things, um, and building and starting to rebuild there's a lot of change that has happened that has happened in your life. And like I said before, uh, there's about to be a lot of quick changes, but someone is going to help you. Um, someone coming in right on time to help you get out of some type of rut. I see it. So that is going to be worth celebrating. So this is what you have going into the week of the, tw uh, the 12th. Um, it's a little disturbances, but definitely see the universe making a way for you. Okay. Well, this is what I have for you here, Aries. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.